Game one for real. Same matchup, I assume. Not sure what the difference was. I didn't see the map change if they changed it. Well, we'll be able to tell in a hot second right here. Yep, yep. Put it in a little. Okay. Perfect. PS2 is the map, not Town City. Probably just a misclick. Or a something. I don't know. Uh, oh, nice combo right off the start. Gets 53%. So Samus and Dark Samus 2 uh, have that nice, well, we're heavy, but we're actually floaty. Yeah. Perfect combo food, at least early. It's actually very similar to a lot of sword characters. They have that, like, combo ability, right? Yep. So even though they're good zoners, if Panquick gets in, he's doing 128%, 29% in the first 30 seconds of the match. Ooh, a little bit aggressive there. Now he can get punished hard for it. Actually, he falls out. Yeah, uh, because Ford Air is not as good of a move as I wish it was. That's... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh, he gets caught out. He's making this deficit a lot smaller, though. Oh, calls him out. This is still not gonna, you know... Heo does have a hard time killing. Not with which time. Which time is broken? Change my mind. Commentator's curse, my dude. Yup. Let's see if he can find the stock. The one good thing about Bale, or good thing about Samson's matchup is that Bale's light, so naturally, back air, and that was almost it right there. Yep, that had been a... Uh, Ooh, he did the setup! That was perfectly spaced, perfectly timed. Yeah, so, uh, g was telling me this earlier, actually, if you put a bomb on the ledge there, and you space forward smash, you can catch him real easy. That's amazing, especially because it's a guaranteed tipper too. So that move actually has power for once. Oh yeah, it's like a Mario up smash. Oh, he caught him on the bounce up off the side of the ledge, I think. Super good. Actually, I was watching uh, Rivers versus, uh, I'm sorry, I forgot his name. Uh, a Samus uh, earlier today, just as, you know, my, my daily lunch meal. Seriously. Okay. Dark Samus, the only main difference uh, is Up Smash, which cannot hit uh, aerial opponents on like battlefield ledges, and the fact that her uh, neutral special can catch people hanging on the ledge really? when it's fully charged. It's because of the difference in how they stand. Right. Yeah, because I think Dark Samus stands a little lower to the ground than Samus. Yep. That's right. That, that, I remember hearing about that. So going for the Dark Samus, not only for the spooky, but for the optimal, I mean, not a battlefield. Yeah. But I don't think he's going to really be going to battlefield unless he wants to ladder people. But she hasn't really been doing a lot of up airs anyway. Especially when you have uh, Bayo's combo breakers. It's, oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, basically even again, but you just need one string starter, and Panquake can bring it all the way back. Down throw. Oh, which uh, battle is out of it. God, I wish that was better. Harry is the afterburner kick. Making this comeback. Oh, he doesn't get. He doesn't time it right. Come back. Catches him from behind. Can we just talk about that hitbox yeah, there for a sec? That was kind of crazy. Dash attack. Down. Oh, he didn't do down beat. He didn't have time to do down beat. He's getting comboed. Now, how is Tanker going to end this stock? Is he going to go for another witch time, or is he just going to try and find a raw back air? I'm, f I'm thinking the back air. Maybe a forward throw? No, no, no. Edge. He's doing the witch time now. Especially with all the projectiles. Oh, he missed it. Uh-oh. Careful, Tanker. It's still super hard to edge guard. Oh, oh my god. Do you have time to punish that with a smash attack? I don't know. I thought that was just an air dodge. Ooh, back air of his own. K1 going to G Fuel. That was ridiculous. That was really tight. Yep. Shoutouts to uh, both of these players for being, you know, I'd honestly say two of our best and most consistent. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Panquake has put in a lot of work since last year. Oh, yeah. He's gotten so much better since last year. I remember when I first played him, I was like. Dude, my, my Incineroar was taking sets off of his bail. Yeah. <laughs> Can we just appreciate that for a second? <laughs> I'm appreciating it. That was something. Now. My little boy is all grown up. Seriously. My little 
Bayo, Bayo. I was trying to make something out of that. Did not work. Bad memes. Anyways, Game Kalos. Two. Kalos. Why? Um, this is the comfort pick, I think. I think he really likes Kalos. I think he likes the platform. Maybe he sends some more horizontal combos. Definitely. Um, I usually ban it against them, so I never go here. <laughs> I know why. He likes the stage. So, let's see if he can work on it. Ooh, I like that mix up. Aggressive? Can he end the stock? He might have actually helped him. There. He would have been able to recover no matter what from that because of the wall jump. Oh, yeah, yep. you're right. I totally forgot that uh, Sans had a wall jump. The only real u uh, use for it is to do some weird movement tack off the side and be able to uh, approach from the back air off of ledge. Gotcha. If you know you don't mind just getting destroyed by Bowser that decides to run off. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, missed times that back air. Ooh, the the wall cling. So yeah. The mix up on timing. I actually like that a lot. Oh, the call out forward smash forward air. God, Pancake's awareness is just so good. Yeah, he's definitely as he gets... very good at capitalizing when he can. Yep. So one of the oh. okay, all right. Goes the ledge. Doesn't get punished for it. One of the things that's important to remember about Samus is that the vast majority of her stuff for recovery works either at the stage's height or below. I mean, you obviously have like bomb uh, to give yourself some more horizontal distance, but her tether and her upbeat are so focused on just the space below. So it makes it really easy for uh, Pankway to predict where G Fuel is recovering from. I just saw that recovery. I didn't realize Bayo could bounce off the wall and land on the, the platform. The yep. Platform. That's one of the reasons why Kalos is such a good stage. Well, for Bayo. And she lives a lot longer here because she's so late. Yep. And she can kill people at which time. So it's like not much of a loss on her end. Although, saying that, Samus is at 170. There's going to be a raw back air or a witch time in like the next 15 seconds. I'm calling it right now. A raw back air or a witch time from Bayo? Yeah. We will see. Oh, eh, eh, oh, eh. You got it. <laughs> oh, it's almost like it's the natural flow of the game or something. <laughs> it's like, it's destined to be. You see, <laughs> yep. a, you see someone at 170 living, it's like, it must be done. Ooh, in the up air. I mean, Handquick's at uh, almost a full uh, stock advantage right now. The one really interesting thing is that I'm not seeing G-Fuel play that grounded. Um, I'd like to see him do a little bit more grab. He's shielding a lot of options, but he's not really getting much out of it. Definitely. The basic maneuvers in Handquick have been really good. So one of the weird things is... Uh, um, I don't know why I keep on saying that. One of the things about Samus's grab is just how laggy it is at the end. I mean, you've got fantastic range. It's... I, in my opinion, the best tether grab in the game. But if you ever miss it, especially with Bayo's strings, that's fair. Yeah. At this point, though, you you gotta do something. You're down almost a full stock. You can't it's just, gonna kill. You can't just space back there the whole time. Game one was super close. Game two, who stock? Anyway. Going into game three, let's see where he counter picks. So here's what I know. They're not going back to Kalos. No. Not only because Dave's stupid rule. Additionally, because Kalos is just not the stage that you want to go to against Bayo. FD, I don't really agree with. Are you saying Samus? He might be going Simon. Or one of his mains. Oh, God. <laughs> Wait, actually, I'm playing <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> K rule, what is this? 
This bubblegum crocodile out on the field. Okay. Why why did that work? Cuz Carol just does Oh. Oh my god. Oh. No. What is happening? happening? Dude, that's just the effect of bubblegum KK. Bubblegum KK comes out. And we're not talking about the song either. <laughs> Oh, don't get back here. Okay, well, I mean, that's still not great, but I didn't die for it, really. Actually, you know what's interesting about this match? How is, how do you think I killed Hero? You don't. You, don't. you just don't. Hero lives forever. You have the best recovery in the game. You have super armor on basically all of your moves. Well, it's a good recovery. It's not really that bad. But I digress. Yep. The point is, <sighs> this dude, was living was letting Samus live to 170. Messes up the kill option there. Unless he was thinking he was gonna mash out. Did he call it or something? Yeah, that oh, that was a miss one foot. I I don't know how to feel about this. I mean he gets comboed super hard, but he's never gonna die. <sighs> well that was a nice fifty percent string there. Oh wait a second. I was I Dude. I thought I was gonna go for you it. You remember though. the uh, the Twitch clip of me getting zero to death last uh Last week? Uh, no, but go on. Uh, bomb plays. Dude, just watch the clip, seriously. Twitch.tv slash MSOE Esports. Yes, look it up. Watching right now yeah. or in uh, the YouTube VOD. Yeah. Uh, he gets a bomb extension for the combo. And I managed to get away. And it's like, alright, I'm at 80%. What am I going to do? And he just keeps on going. Oh, Panquake is ridiculous. You know, that SD earlier didn't really phase him that much. He's actually look, brought it back. Pretty close. A back air at 170 did not kill. Oh, good attack. Attack. Not an attackable. Better good, been any good closer. Spacing on these aerials. Not gonna kill. I wonder when down throw starts killing. As a mix up. Drop down real low there to get oh, his, uh, his crown oh, back. Oh, no, that was the killing one. There it is. He can make this 50% back real quick. The question is can he kill in time before he dies? He's really good at that one combo particular. He's really consistent with it. Yep. It's his bread and butter. He's getting him over and over again. Randy back air there. Traded. Oh! <laughs> Gets caught with a second hit of crown. Oh, he rolled away. Okay, King K roll is so big. Oh, he held the shield. Oh my god. Imagine if he dropped shield. Oh, the mix up. Forward throw up stage. Not gonna kill, nowhere even close. Did my man just seriously get hit by every single one of those? I mean, yes. <laughs> oh! He popped off! That's the that's the result of that set. Yeah, that was a good Damn, son, that was a good set. 